Today, let's talk torque. In our hunt for grunt, we're gonna find out what camshafts make the best torque. In this video, in our quest for torque, we ran two different test motors. We got a 5.3 liter and a 6.2 liter LS3. We ran no less than 10 different camshafts on our two test motors in our quest to find extra torque. On the 5.3 liter, we compared the factory LM7 cam to four different truck cams from Brian Tooley Racing. We've got stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four, and these are all the new V2 truck cams. So we got some good stuff there. And since we had it on the dyno and we were looking for torque, we also included the torque cam. On our LS3, we ran a similar test. We compared the factory LS3 cam to three different performance cams with different intake duration. We've got 224, 227, and 231 degrees of intake duration. So the question now is, which one makes more torque? Does the bigger cam make more torque? Does the smaller cam make more torque? Let's find out. Okay guys, let's talk torque. Let's hunt for grunt. Let's find some more low speed power. Let's do our first comparison basically. The first test motor was a 5.3 liter LM7 and it was basically all stock except for headers. So it had a stock manual throttle body, stock truck intake, stock 862 heads, which was the same as the 706, and then stock short block. So all we did was run it first with the factory LM7 cam. Now obviously all of these were tuned with Holly HP management system so that we optimize the power output of each one. They're all run at the same temperature and air fuel timing stuff. You know, we tried to maximize everything that we could. These are what we came up with. So we started off with the factory LM7 cam and this thing made 348 horsepower and 374 foot-pounds of torque. So this might not have been uh, quite as strong as some of the other ones that we've run. But, you know, when you get it from the wrecking yard, yeah, you get what you get. <laughs> so first, let's take a look at our torque cam from Brian Tweed Racing, which is a 202-degree duration, like a single-pattern cam. The torque cam basically picked up power kind of everywhere at the top, in the middle, all the way from the bottom, all the way down, getting close to 2,500 RPM. That's not really, I mean, I already have a video on the comparison of what these um, truck intakes do, or what these truck cams do. So we're just gonna take a look now. We're gonna kind of focus on the torque of each one of them. So this thing made 385 horsepower and 393 foot-pounds of torque. But it's important to note that in terms of peak torque, that little torque cam picked up on the factory cam, as we'll see all of these do the same thing too. So now let's take a look at our, for our next cam, basically, is the Stage 1 truck cam. So as you can see, look, look at the crossover here right at 4,700 RPM, where they make identical, <laughs> identical peak torque numbers of 393 foot-pounds of torque. So if, you were, if somebody were to ask you which camshaft makes more torque, you'd have to say, well, where are you asking about? In terms of peak torque, they're identical. They both make the same peak torque. But down low, the little torque cam makes more low speed torque. Up top, the stage one makes more high speed torque or more horsepower. So you gotta be specific about that. But in terms of peak torque, if we're talking about peak torque, those two are identical. So now we'll move on to our stage two cam. Stage 2 truck cam. And as you can th see through a lot of the curve from about 3,500 out to 4,500, they're, they're the same. I mean, we're splitting hairs. There's a couple of horsepower. But technically speaking, <laughs> the Stage 2 cam made 398 foot-pounds compared to 393. In the real world, I don't know that you would notice this difference here. You would definitely notice the difference out here. But in terms of the peak torque, they're very close. Look with that stage two cam, it made 411 horsepower. And as I said, peak torque was 398 foot pounds. Look down here between 2,500 and 3,000, the stage two cam was definitely down compared to the torque cam. It was still about even with the stock cam all the way down at 2,600, but was basically better thereafter. And it was down a little bit, the stage two was down a little bit compared to the stage one on this 5.3 liter. So we step up now to the stage three cam. 
And it's important to note that these are all of the new cams, the all the new truck cams from Ride Tooley Racing. So if you guys are excited about that, there's <laughs> this is the new stuff. So the Stage 3 cam, as we would expect, made more peak por power. It made 419 horsepower. Made exactly the same torque, 398 foot-pounds compared to the Stage 2. Made less torque down low than the Stage 2 or the Stage 1 or the torque cam. So what we're seeing is differences basically at the end of the spectrum. Down low, the bigger we go in camshaft, the worse the power gets, the worse the torque is. Eh, not surprising. And as we go up in RPM, once we get past 5,000 RPM, let's say, we start to see a spread of power, especially from the stock cam up to anything else, including the torque cam or into the stage one or the stage two. You know, we're talking about some fairly sizable gains from the stock cam. The rest of them, you know, we're looking at 400, 410, 419 about 10 horsepower. So on this particular test, I even ran the stage four because everyone, you know, because people want a stage four because if there's a stage three, the only thing better than the stage three is a stage four. So here's the stage four. And not surprisingly, it made a little bit more peak power, made 425 horsepower. So a little bit more. So when you're showing all your buddies the, the good power curve, show them from 5,200 on out so that you can make your stage four look good. And as expected, as we've seen previously, the Stage 4 definitely down on power. Even compared to the stock cam, the Stage 3 and the Stage 4 are down on power, you know, down below 3,000 RPM, let's say. Interestingly enough, even the Stage 4 and all the Stage cams made basically the same power from 3,100 RPM, you know, out to 4,500 RPM. You're just kind of splitting hairs there. The stage four made exactly the same peak torque as the stage three and the stage two, 398 foot pounds. So this is what's interesting and, and, and why I wanted to make a video on this is that even though we went, we did made a pretty dramatic change in the cam timing on this deal, they all made like the stage two, like stage three, stage two, three, and four all made exactly the same peak torque. The stage one and the 202 torque cam made the same. And those were within five foot pounds of each other. Again, at this power level, we're talking about nearly 400 foot pounds. I don't know that you'd be able to tell the difference between five foot pounds. So they make really similar curves, except out at the very top and except out at the very bottom. <laughs> so this is our hunt for grunt or our, our torque talk on the 5.3. Now let's take a look at see what happened on our larger LS3 motor. Our next test was run on an LS3 crate motor, so a 6.2 liter rec port headed, you know, LS3 intake. We did put a manual throttle body on it and long tube headers. Ran it with the Holly HP management system. So run with the stock LS3 cam first. This thing made 496 horsepower and 491 foot pounds of torque. I really like these LS3 crate motors. We probably run a dozen of them and they're they're all kind of spot on. They all work really well. But here was our first camshaft. And we're going to call this the 224 cam. And I'm not going to give you the manufacturer or anything like that because that's not really important for what we're doing here. I just want to show you because I, I ran probably 30 cams on this crate motor. We know what a lot of them do. But I want to show you what kind of gains you can get. And this is this is a 224 at 50 on the intake side. You know, it's got near 600 lift and stuff. So it's uh, like a 224, 232. Might even be that crane cam I like so much. But equipped with a 224 cam, this LS3 made 547 horsepower and 514 foot-pounds of torque. I'll probably go up and put the specs of the cams up when I uh, list them all. But here's what happened when we stepped up from the 224 cam to a 227 cam. So slightly bigger cam. Now we can kind of start to see what's going on. So much like with the 5.3, if we take a look at a big section of the curve from 3,300 RPM all the way out to 5,100 RPM, those two cams made exactly the same power. 
shape of the curve the same. You might have a variation of one horsepower or one foot pound, but basically they did exactly the same thing. So through most of the curve, just like with the 5.3 and those cams, they're doing the same thing. Only out here past 5,000 RPM do we start to see the added benefit of having more duration from that camshaft. So, you know, talking about going from 547 to 555. So what's that? A whopping 8 horsepower? And as we expected, when we go up in duration and make the camshaft wilder, we start to lose power down low, so we start to trade off. So the 227 cam made more power at the top, and it makes less power down low. So now what do you think is going to happen when we, and, and, <laughs> and which one of these is going to make the most peak torque? What's going to happen when we put the 231 cam in? If you're saying it's going to do the same thing, you're probably right. And it does. Look, from 33 or 3400 RPM, all the way out in this case to about 5000, they're essentially the same curve. Even though they're wildly different in cam timing, and they're, they get bigger and bigger success, successively, um, they make the same power in that range. Now, if we want to get really tricky here, we can zoom in and see that our 231 cam actually did the make the most torque. It made 517 foot-pounds compared to 515 foot-pounds compared to 513 foot-pounds. So again, we're, we're kind of splitting hairs there. But the uh, 231 cam produced 566 horsepower. But as we expected, the more power out at top, came with a slight loss down low. And what I like to do is look at that loss down low, and even though that's, we're starting to run there at 3,000 RPM, that's a pretty good indicator of a couple things. It's a pretty good indicator that down lower, the losses might be a little bit more, and also that part throttle drivability is definitely going to change with the bigger cams. So from idle to 5,000 RPM, the smallest cam would be the best choice. Then you have to decide past that because the smallest cam is going to idle better, it's going to have better part throttle response, and it's probably going to make a little bit more power below 3000 RPM, but you have to take into consideration above that. So do you want the extra power going from the 224 to 227 or up to the up to the 231? When you start talking about a 231 cam on a factory crate motor you're getting near the limit of piston to valve clearance so you might be able to go a little bit bigger or start wiggling things around and getting a little bit more camshaft to fit but that's a pretty good power output for a cam only ls3 with headers on it so i guess the only thing left is to get to our conclusion okay guys what do you think about our giant camshaft comparison and our quest for torque here's what i thought was interesting both on the 5.3 liter and on the larger ls3 the biggest cam actually made the most torque. Now, normally when we think about torque production, we think about a smaller, milder cam. But in both of these test motors, the biggest cam made the biggest peak torque. I know it was just by maybe a couple of foot-pounds, but still, if we're looking for peak torque, look for a big camshaft. But here's the other thing. If you look at these curves, both on the 5.3 and on the LS3, all of these cams produce basically the same power in a given RPM range. There is basically no change. Only at the extremes did we see changes. The bigger cam made more peak power, but made less power down low. So maybe it's less about finding what makes the best peak torque than it is finding the torque where you need it in the RPM range. I'm Richard Holder. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring that bell. I'll keep testing.